go ahead and workload it. Hey, Steve Hansen here with the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. You know, lately I've been having a, a lot of people asking about how to price a project or a job. And many times my response will be, go ahead and workload it. Generally, it's a small account or a small job that they're trying to price. And uh, that's what I tell them, is go ahead and workload it. But the problem is they don't know what workloading is. Uh, workloading is where you would uh, list the, the tasks that you're going to perform. And generally, you know what's going to happen is that your client's going to come to you and ask you to do some additional work. Uh, uh, you know, on a current uh, on a current account that you're that you're already doing, and or somebody will come to you and ask you for a price on uh, you know on their small account. Well, many times you can just go ahead and workload it. So list the tasks that want that they want uh, to have done, and then associate a time with that task. So here's what I mean. So let's say we've got a job that the person wants us to trash, uh, do some dusting and vacuuming, and cleaning some restrooms. So in that case, what we would do is we'd look at the trashing and we'd estimate how long it's going to take us to do that. So let's say it's 10 minutes. Then let's say we're our dusting, when we look at our dusting, we're going to estimate it's 20 minutes for that task. And vacuuming is going to take us 30 minutes for that task. And to clean the restrooms, that would also take us 30 minutes. So now that we have a total time for the tasks that we're going to perform, we know that that's 90 minutes per service. So now what you need to do is that you need to take the 90 minutes and multiply it by the frequency of service. So if it's a one day, two day, three day, four day, five, seven day per week service, that's what you would do. Take 90 minutes, multiply it by the frequency of service, then multiply it by 52 weeks in a year, divide it by 12 months, and that will give you your total time per month. So it's really that simple. Just use that formula. So now let's say we have a total, uh, total hours of 100, 125 hours per month to perform these tasks. So now what you do is you take the 125 hours and you, and you multiply that by your billable rate. Now your billable rate is the rate that you charge your clients per hour. It's not your employees' wages that you're charging. It's, your, it's what you're charging your clients per hour. So take your 125 hours per month, multiply it by your billable rate. Let's say it's $28, you know, $30 per hour. And that's going to give you your price point. So that's the price you charge per month to provide those additional services or to, to do that job. So it's really that simple. So now if you're having difficulties with that, uh, go to the janitorialstore.com or myhousecleaningbiz.com and we have production rate calculators that will help you uh, come up with your total time for the job. Uh, so all you'd have to do is that you can enter either each's you know, let's say if you have so many toilets or so many trash cans, you can you can put the eaches in there, and or you would put in the square footage of the area. So if you're vacuuming an area and you know that that area is 1,200 square feet, then you can just enter 1,200 square feet, and it's going to calculate a time for you. So uh, so that makes it simple. You know, so go to the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbusiness.com, and you can use those bidding uh, those uh, production rate calculators uh, to arrive at a time. But that's really all workloading is. It's just a matter of knowing the tasks that have to, have to be done and giving them a time. So once you have that time, you're able to arrive at a price point. The other nice thing about this is that once you workload a project, uh, you know exactly how much time it's going to take. So now you know how many workers you're going to need for that account. It makes it pretty simple. For, for that example that I gave, you know, we said 90 minutes per clean. Well, 90 minutes, that's probably a one-person job. So we know, we know from that uh, that we can put in one person at the account or for that job, and we'll be fine. So, well, that's about all I have for that. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. So, you know, next time that you do have an account that is small or your clients are adding you to add-on services, just workload it. It's that simple. So until next time, um, if you uh, like the, with the information I gave you here, go click on, click on the like and share button. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, you'll find many more videos. Uh, so until next time, take care.